Hello and welcome. Well, SSDs finally got cheap enough for me, the cheapskate would buy one. So what I want to do today is to migrate my Windows 7 installation, and it's a relatively small hard drive, to an SSD device. I, this is the one I bought, the PNY, uh, the solid state. I need a 480. I got the 250 gig. Uh, the 250 was $75, $76 at Best Buy. So they really have come down to 240 gig. Here we go. That's one that I got. What I'm going to use is the Ease US or Ease Us, I guess. Uh, backup and restore the To Do down here. The To Do Home Backup. You can get a free version, you can download it, and you can actually do the migration with the free version if you want to do it. So you can do this migration using this software uh, for free. I went ahead and bought the, paid the $29 or $30, whatever it was, and I bought the To Do Home Backup. Whichever you want to do, obviously, that's going to be up to you. So what we're going to do is go in here and start the program. We'll say yes. Start the program, and then we'll get started. What I have done before any of this happened is to uh, authorize the new disk, the SSD, using my uh, Windows Disk Manager. So what we're doing here is I did it. I did a a, an update on it. So what we're doing is starting the program here. I'll pause it while it starts. Okay, it uh, finally did finish. Just to just to show you that I did. Whenever I started disk management, it came up and said disk one isn't isn't allocated authorized. Do you want to authorize it? So I did that. So I now have 223 gig. Uh, 240 gig is, is the is the disk size, 223 gig of unallocated space, and you can see my disk up here is not very big. It's only 148, 150 uh, gig, so everything should fit on my SSD. But open back up or open up the to do ease us or ease us to do backup home 8.6 just updated this morning. That's what took it so long. I had to fix its thing because I hadn't restarted it. You can do a disk partition backup, file backup, system backup, smart backup, mail backup, a number of different things. The tools here create emergency disk, which would be a WinPE disk, an iSCSI initiator, all sorts of things that you can use with this thing uh, and wipe data. What we're going to do is use the clone process, and the hard disk zero is going to be the source. So I just simply click on it, and it gets both of the partitions, the FAT16, the small one with the tools on it, and the uh, and the operating system on the C drive. And then we'll go to next, and then hard disk one is where we're going to go to this. Uh, it's going to be a basic disk, a uh, basic partition with a master boot record, and that's what we have in the other one. Let's look back here. It is see it's basic. It's not a dynamic disk. And what I've learned the hard way is that I think, this is my opinion, that unless you've got a good reason to use dynamic disk, go ahead and leave it as basic. So we're going to optimize for SSD. Uh, we can click sector by sector clone. Uh, let's just go ahead and do optimize and we'll see how this works. Do next and source disk, target disk, disk 1, OS, A, N, T, F, S and all that other good stuff, and I'm going to have 75 gig of empty space, which we will we'll then go and create a new partition with it, I think, so that we have a separate data partition. Eventually, what I want to do is put a spinning disk in for the data and have the operating system, the thing that actually uses a lot of the swap for the SSD. We should make it quite a bit faster. The other thing that I should do, and you probably noticed, I go back here, that I do have a ready boost and probably when I'm getting done the ready boost is going to be slower than the SSD that's happened to me once before when we put it on and, and did a ready boost with an SSD it actually slowed the system down so I probably we'll just take that one out so what we're going to do with this thing now is 
proceed and once we proceed estimated time and all, all that other good stuff is going to go down and they recommend that you shut down the computer when the operation is completed so what we will do is to let the thing go until it gets done um, the elapsed time estimated time remaining of course it's still figuring out what it's going to do it's, it's going to be I expect longer than see it's building up already so I'm going to go ahead and I think start stop this one and then when I get it back up do a new one and try to merge the two videos so with that we're gonna let it run and when it gets done we'll swap it around try to boot to the SSD and see what happens okay uh, it's done took about 53 minutes to do the transfer I put in the SSD the boot time was about 20 seconds and the disk uh, performance went from a 3.7 or excuse me a 5.7 to a 7.1 when I go into the disk management here you see that we have these things we have the unallocated I can do one of two things I should be able to right click this and extend the volume or I could right click here and do a new volume with this system I think I'm just going to extend the volume I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing but we'll do extend volume just show you how to go through it next disk zero the total volume size in megabytes 228.871 and let's move this thing down out of the way and that's that right 222 what was it 220 anyway we're going to add 76 gig 76,000 meg to it maximum available space select the amount in megabytes and I'm going to do the whole thing finish and voila it's done that was that was really quick so it has extended it I now have the entire uh, hard drive system volume and into a single volume on this one which is the way it had been run so I'm just going to leave it the way that it was so with that is done it thing is really much quicker with this system as we uh, as we go through it uh, if I go to let's go to Google News Having said that, there we go. It's done. As long as it lasts, I think that the system is going to be much more efficient. Done relatively quickly with the ease us or ease us, whichever way it's supposed to be uh, done. The hard drives in place, OS to C. The this is the uh, the SSD it made it much quicker I haven't taken the ready boost out that's probably gonna be my next uh, step because I'm not sure that I actually need it anymore with that I'm going to stop say so it got done worked just fine when I plugged it in and we will I'll try to merge these two videos and get them posted soon with that I'd like to thank you for watching